We are back, everybody, with more Fallout 1. I kind of tweaked my um, settings a little bit. Trying to make that text a little bit bigger at the bottom. I've um, also had some audio issues where my vocals are kind of low, so I'm going to crank those all the way the fuck up in post. I don't even remember what we got to do here now. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. I mean, we need to go take out um, the master who is the end game boss, I believe. I don't think we're there yet. Um, so we're going to go explore around a little bit. I think today we are going to go explore the hub. Now, we did lose our companion last time, which seems to be a theme for these Fallout games because I lost Ian uh, yesterday in this game. Uh, he died by the hands of the Great Cons, mostly because he's a fucking idiot and he just ran right into the fucking house with a knife. Didn't use his gun that I gave him or anything along those lines. Um, so he can go bloody fuck himself. I'm just going to flee because I don't want to fight these guys particularly. It's kind of a waste of my ammo and time. Alright, so we can flee out of here pretty quick. So we'll continue on to the hub. So anyways, like I said yesterday, we lost Ian. Bummer. Whatever. Today, um, which I haven't posted it yet, but in Fallout New Vegas, Boone got fucking blown up by the Boomers. Who the fuck are these guys? I see a police officer at the hub. We should tear down this whole area. Anybody talk to me here? Alright. What the fuck was the point of that? So anyways, yeah, um... The boomers blew Boone to fucking smithereens, and we lost him, which just kind of sucks. But, uh, so yeah, not a good day for companions of the miserable gamer. Let's just put it that away. So we'll go down here. I think the hub actually gets a little bigger. Um, we'll see. We'll explore it. I think it's like a full-on city. Not that I want to rush this game or anything, but I do kind of want to get to... Fallout 2 at some point. I heard Fallout 2 is a little better. I know the opening of Fallout 2 is an utter fucking nightmare. Um, if you're familiar with Fallout 2 whatsoever. Essentially in Fallout 2... Is that the Crimson Caravan? Fuck these guys. Essentially in Fallout 2 you have to um, do some sort of trial in order to get out of the main area. So, the first area I guess I should say. Hey there, how are you doing? The name's Dimitri. Dimitri Remora. Head of the best damn caravan in the waste. Are you looking for a job? You look pretty fit. Sorry about that. My fucking phone's going off like always. That's just what we're looking for. You, lo you like the thrill and excitement of battle, don't you? Bullets flying everywhere, whipping by your head, blowing your enemies, blowing your enemy in two, god damn it. Seeing the fear in their eyes, ah, that's the life. You look like the kind of person that could serve us well, and we pay well. Oh, yes we do. We just had a few new openings, if you're interested, but of course you are, right? It's the pay. We pay 600 hub bucks a job, that's each way. Hell, people say we take all the dangerous routes but I say they're the most exciting. You need a little excitement in your life? Am I right? Of course I am. Hell, I think that's just what I'm looking for. Let's do it. Damn straight it is. Just go talk to Carrie in the next room. She'll let you know when the next caravan is leaving. So hopefully we get to travel with some groups. Is that her? Yeah. Go talk to Carrie here. So I did make a blunder. That I'm trying to sort out. So, I was unaware that if you have Game Pass and you pre-install Starfield, you could upgrade to the Premium Edition for $31. Meaning, I could have gotten the Premium Edition for what essentially works out to be $41. Because Game Pass is roughly $10 a month. And the upgrade is $31, give or take. Taxes and all that good stuff. But... I went ahead and was like, well, for my YouTube channel, I kind of want to play it as early as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to the Premium Edition, and I'll spend the $109 to fucking do so. So I spent the $109, and I was like, whatever. 
I never pre-order games and I never typically get early access stuff. Just don't typically do it. Uh, but this game's really got me excited, so I went ahead and did that, and I started talking to people, and they go, yeah, you can uh, just install it through Game Pass and then upgrade to the premium edition of $31. So, I went to Microsoft, and I go, hey, uh, I need a refund for this pre-order. So they refunded me the $109, and now I'm in the process of installing Starfield again through Game Pass. So now I've wasted almost 300 fucking uh, gigabytes of download bandwidth of my internet just to save $70 so I thought that was kind of a funny story but I digress that's still two days away so all right so that old bastard gave you the okay to work for us eh? well you must be one tough bitch I'm impressed but we'll see how you do we leave only twice a month on the third and the 17th can you handle that we go to all the local hot spots, the Brotherhood of Steel, Junk Town, Necropolis, and Boneyard. And the pay. Our pay is the best, 600 scripts, and yes, that is for each way. But you don't have to do both. This is a pretty tough caravan ride, and you're almost guaranteed to run into some raiders or worse. Alright, sure. Cool. Uh, the next one's going out on April 3rd. Come back then, and I'll put you on a caravan as always. It pays 600 scripts. Okay. So... What is today's date? April 3rd. It is now March 22nd, so we have some time. I think there's a way you can, um... I thought there was a way you could wait. There is. Wait until morning. Well, let's keep an eye on the date, so... April 17th. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Or was it April 3rd? I can't remember. I think it was April 3rd, right? Let's see if she can reconfirm that date. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Sure. April 3rd, okay. Okay. Alright, so that's a couple days away here. I don't know how fast in game time is, honestly, so I wrote down April 3rd on my whiteboard I got next to my, my desk, so let's go see what they got in the general store. You know, you really feel broke in this game. The fuck is that a what the fuck is that? Uh, okay. How may I help you today? I'd like to buy something. Great, here's what I have. Alright. Open up the barter menu, see so he's got 27 stem packs. What the fuck is this? That is a Geiger counter. Hmm. Interesting. What's this? It's a motion sensor. It's a big book of science. How much do they want for that? 312? See what else he's got first. Dean's Electronics. It's a first aid book. Let's go for this. 136. We're gonna add that. It's a super stem. Some rope. What's this? A radio. We don't want that because we don't want copyright. It's right away. How much is one of these? 527. Holy fuck. Hope I got some stuff to barter because flamethrower fuel. I'll right, we'll get rid of all these knives. It's probably not gonna be much. It's 120. Not really ever using the flares, so we'll get rid of all of those as well. It's 260. That beer. Get rid of the fucking beer. Get rid of that. Not really big into drugs or throwables. So we'll get rid of all these. Get rid of that as well. So now he owes us some money. Let's see if we can't just sweeten the deal here. See, so I did do some research yesterday. I was kind of watching um, just like a, it was an old reminiscence of uh, Fallout 1. It was like a remember the game sort of deal. And this was a major fucking bugaboo for people was this barter system, which is fucking utterly brutal. Because if you really think about it, and you want all 1,400 caps, you literally have to sit here for whatever. A, it's a little faster than uh, one cap a second, um, but fucking slightly. I mean, it's probably like two to three caps per second that you get. So you would literally have to sit here for what would almost be 700 seconds. You know, you want to do the quick math there, divide that by 60, whatever the fuck that would be. Uh, a couple minutes here. 
of just time wasting. So we'll probably just get to 200. Let's see, that's 727. We'll go ahead and just accept that trade. That's fine. How much does that beer take away? 770. 760. Let me take uh, one flare back. See if he'll take that barter. Hopefully he doesn't reject the whole thing. Our offer is not good enough. Jesus. Those things are fucking expensive. No. That's not going to happen. Let me see here. What the fuck did I have in there earlier? Put that flare back in, I guess. Whatever. Just offer it. Our barter's not good enough to fucking get wins here, so we'll take it. How much uh, for this piece of armor, though? 800? Oh, let me see here. Let's see if I can't get some more juicy stuff here. It's a scout handbook. That'll help with some survivability. These electronics. We might as well boost everything we can. It's a book of science. I'll take it. Uh, da -da -da, da -da -da. Don't particularly want the radio. What is this? Uh, various useful tools. It might come in handy at some point. Motion sensor. Alright, that uh, put us kind of out of reach here. Which, for one Nuka Cola. 527. You'll probably hear me furiously kick, clicking away here. How much of this multi tool? 735 for the multi tool. Okay. Um. Give me one stem pack. 814. Are you bullshitting? Um. Take away one of those. I might just take away the Nuka Colas, honestly. 804. Bullshit. And then I'll give. I do like. I, I will say. That I do like the strategy of the barter system here. We'll throw in four caps to boot. Alright. Talk to him. See if he's got any other dialogue options here. I think he does. Alright. So let's uh, go into our inventory. And we'll use those books we purchased. I can't get the hang of like... Alright. God damn it. Fuck it. We'll do it this way. Go ahead and use that. Nope. Let's not go into fucking combat. Use the book of science. Well, that was survival. That was wilderness survival, not science. You idiot. Where is our science book? Take that. And we'll take that. Alright. Go ahead and use this bad boy. So, uh, you learn new ways to heal injury. That should be useful. And we learn new science information. So let's take a peek of our character here. Science up to 55%. Doctor and first aid are at 64 and 45, respectively. Outdoorsman's at 41%. And we're almost to the next level, so that's good. Right, we'll leave this uh, general store here. We'll go into this. Ooh. What is my luck, by the way? My luck is at five. That is not very good. It's kind of average. Can we fucking play the casino? Ooh, can we literally play this? You currently have 979 caps. How many would you like to bet? Two caps. It's so, alright. Better luck next time. Winner, you push. You want to play again? Okay. Winner, you push. Winner. You double your money. Sorry, better luck next time. Sorry, better luck next time. Sorry, better luck next time. Winner, you push. Okay, no thanks. All right, that's uh, anticlimactic. Anybody in here worth speaking to? 
You see a drunk. I feel a little queasy. Who's this? Bartender? Give me a drink, bartender. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, I'll take a beer. Oh, beat it. What the fuck? Can we drink it? Can we have a couple beers at the casino? What the fuck is our beer? That beer. Give me a second beer. You lost one perception. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh, well. You see a couch. Uh, what's this? FLC. Can I go in here? Are they gonna stop me? No, well, apparently not. Apparently they don't give a shit. Well, if it isn't a potential customer, I'm Lorenzo. The moon efficient? What? At your service. Uh, I give out loans. Only 10% daily interest. A maximum of 10 days to repay. You won't find any more generous. I'm not getting into debt to some fucking uh, loan shark. Let me uh, see something real quick. Let me see if I can't. Because I did notice too. Best speed. Brightness level. Brighter. That. There we go. Let's go ahead and drop a save here too. That's a little better. I did notice that the game was a little bit dark. A lot of times, like, it looks okay for me, um, but it kind of renders out Bob's Iguana Bits. Now, if you don't know Fallout lore, Iguana Bits are human flesh, I believe. Welcome to Bob's Iguana Bits, the family eating place. Can I take your order? Give me Iguana on a stick. Sure, we got whole Iguana on a stick for 20 bucks, or our prime select pieces for $8. Take one of the real ones. One whole iguana coming up. Anything else? Anything interesting happening in the hub? Well, the only new thing that the children of Cathedral has taken over the hospital. It's pretty boring around here lately. Anything else? No? You weren't much of anything. What's this? Need work? The Fargo traders are currently filling the following positions. Caravan guards must be good physical condition and dependable. Special positions must be observant and willing to travel in dangerous territory. Own weapons and ammo required for all jobs. Inquire within the Fargo Trader's office. Okay. So we already have gotten in on the Crimson Caravan. Uh, what the fuck is this? Can't get there. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm literally getting there. Who the hell are you? If you have business with the hub police, please talk to Sheriff Green. I only take care of duties when the sheriff is unavailable. Hello, ma'am. The name is Justin Green. I'm the sheriff of this fine city. Is there anything I can do for you this fine day? I have a crime to report. If I do? Sorry, I can't tell you. I'd be dead. We couldn't have that, but if you ever change your mind, maybe I don't have a crime to report. Alright. Uh, Fargo Traders. I wonder if they got any work for me. They're different than the Crimson Caravan, I assume. And clearly, the Fargo Traders. You got anything for me? Hello and welcome to the Fargo Traders. How may we help you? I'm here about that job that was posted. You're looking for work? I've heard good things about you. We can always use someone of your reputation. Go on in. Talk to Butch. He's through the door behind me. Let's go see if Butch. See if they got. See if we can get rolling out here. What do you want? Oh, I need to ask you a few questions. Time is money. Chit chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Hot damn! Someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second Rutger and get the details. Okay, where's Rutger at? I gotta talk to Rutger again. The job pays 500 hub bucks. When you can call Butch exactly what has happening. What? 
when you can tell butch exactly what has been happening to all the caravans that have disappeared recently so collect any proof you might find i personally think it's those damn water merchants or those gun freaks of the brotherhood of steel butch thinks it's some claw of death oh no check with bath she would know more about that they are really strange they wore some technology or something like that they have a hell of a lot of firepower they could easily take out a caravan um, they're to the northwest. Best right out that door and to the right. She runs our weapon shop. Tell her you're working for us and you'll get a 15% discount. All right. I really hope it's not a fucking death claw. That would be a fucking bummer. The city is fucking massive. Loading only. I don't know where we're at now. This doesn't look like much of anything. I don't know if this is the gun shop or not. I doubt it. It looks like somebody's fucking house. Hmm. I don't think Beth's over here, dude. guns. Alright, here's probably Beth. Would be my guess. Beth is over here at the gun shop. Actually, it's kind of good because I wouldn't mind upgrading our weapon cash if we can. Let's see what we can sell shit for. Hello, Beth. You're welcome here anytime during business hours, that is. What fucking time is it? 4.22 in the morning. Let's go ahead and wait three hours. Hopefully it's business hours now. Alright. Hi there. How can I help you? Can I ask you some questions? I want to buy something. Of course you can. Don't be silly. What's the word on the street about the missing caravans? Some people think the water merchants are responsible, but I don't think so. I think it was that darn death claw or maybe the people over at the Brotherhood of Steel. Why don't you think it was the water merchants? Because, like I've been telling everyone, they've had a few caravans disappear too. Nothing like what's happening to the Fargo traders, but they're being affected. They could be lying or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Why would it happen to the Fargo traders more than others? Bad luck? I don't know. Maybe they're traveling along different routes than the others. Maybe because they aren't as heavily guarded as the Crimson Caravan. But, they might have better cargo than the water merchants. Who knows, there doesn't seem to be any clear difference between the three. The water merchants could be lying or it could be part of their plan to make you believe them. Uh, another question about the missing caravans. Let's get back to the merchants. Never stop talking, do you? Um, uh, another question. Uh, uh, what exactly is a death claw? The Death Claw is the most evil thing to rise out of the ashes after the war. Some say it's the most powerful. It's a powerful gat ghost from the war that haunts the land. It's no ghost. It's as real as you and me. It's 20 feet tall with teeth as big as your arm. It's some kind of demon that found its way here when the world was engulfed in fire. I think about what's about Death Claw. Well, I know this old mutant in old town named Harold. He's seen it. He's the only one that's seen it and lived. Uh, kind of want to see what she has for sale, though. I got a 15% discount. That's not bad. A couple of shekels. Uh, she does have a shotgun. How much do you want for it, though? 660. How much for all the shells? $2,049. Are you fucking bullshitting? How much is this? Alright, it gets us a little closer. It's a 10mm SMG. These were kind of pricey, weren't they? Yeah. We might make this trade here. Fourteen ninety-three. 
I do kind of want a shotgun a little bit. Um, four. Oh, wait. Four, five, six, seven. Done. Offer is not good enough. Oh, I am fucking dumb. I thought that I was at 1200. I'm only at 1400. Well then. What should one of these go for? Is that an 8? Or is that 20? Hmm. Damn, those things are fucking pricey. What the fuck? Is a buff out? I don't really fucking need the strength boost. I mean, it would be kind of nice, but... I think that's 20, 23. Not... I don't know if I'm making a good fucking move here or not. I don't want to sell the fucking lighter and shit because I feel like I might need it at some point. <sighs> so 24.86 would be 100. So that's 23.06. I can't read the fucking thing. At all. Oh, I apologize for this, folks. I might cut this. Well, I'm almost there. I was going to say I might cut it out, but. twenty-four eleven. Ah, Jesus. I need like 86 caps here. No, I, so I uh, was watching some Starfield content today. And there's a lot of uproar. Particularly around planet exploration. So. Todd Howard made a comment a couple days ago in an interview that, um, shit, sorry, that basically, essentially, when you land on a planet, okay, so you'll be able to pick whatever spot you want to on the planet, North Pole, South Pole, uh, the equator, whatever, you'll be able to pick any spot you want on a planet, but um, with that being said, only a little tiny, well, I shouldn't say tiny. There's a, a block of land that actually loads in when you land your ship, okay? So you'll land your ship on a spot, and then you have like a grid, basically, essentially to move around in. Meaning you won't be able to walk, like get out of your ship and walk around the whole planet. So a lot of people are kind of honked off about that. I don't particularly think it's as big of a deal as people are making it out to be. I mean, unless you're some sort of psychopathic murderer, I highly doubt you're going to want to fucking walk all the way around the planet. But that's the new controversy with Starfield right now, is that you can't walk from one side of the planet to the other. Brotherhood. When did we discover the Brotherhood? Or did we just get that location now by talking to her? You know, if we get stopped, I didn't put any weapons back on. God damn it. We gotta keep an eye on the date, too, because I'd like to get back there by the third. I don't know how this is gonna go. We are gonna go ahead and drop a save, because I don't feel like going through that negotiation again for the shotgun. I'm gonna keep my weapons not in. I wouldn't mind working with the Brotherhood, though, because I wouldn't mind getting some power armor. Greetings, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. What is the Brotherhood of Steel? The Brotherhood is a collective of men and women who have dedicated their lives to the, to the preservation of technology. I've heard that you people sacrifice puppies. What type of armor is that you're wearing? How do I find more about your technology? The only way to know anything more about us is to join us, my friend. Cabot can help you with that. You have a water chip in the Brotherhood. I've already gotten the water chip, dude. Can I go in here? You're unable to unlock the door. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. 
May I ask your business here? I'd like to join. That's great. Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. So the Brotherhood and Fallout One are a little more open to newcomers than they were in later games. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He uh, said you have to complete a quest first. All right, what do you got for me? You have to go to the ruins of the ancient order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. This place is high tech. There's things inside like you've never seen before. Oh, uh, it's also radioactive. <laughs> You'll do it. You will? Oh, boy. Great. Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. Probably should have picked up that Geiger counter, huh? I can't believe they're sending her down there. Holy fucking assholes, man. All right, well, I thought it would be, you know, I thought it was going to be easy to join the Brotherhood, but what the fuck? Well, stop for a second. Let me put my shotgun. Let me put this in slot two. What is that? 44 Magnum. Um, shotgun in there. Load that bad boy up. 20. Everything's loaded up. Ready to go. I don't think I'll be able to survive much in the way of radiation, honestly. The glow, the boneyard. We'll see what happens. I mean, we dropped a save there, so... It's the 30th of March. I need to keep an eye out on that. Stop for a second. Shit. I want to do that, um... The fuck are you guys? Watch your scripts, guy. Let me um. Let me go ahead. Let me just go back to the hub because I kind of want to do the Crimson Caravan quest first. It's April first right now. I might have to wait some time, but entrance downtown. All right. Let's see what the date is. Got a pit boy here. It is April 1st. Wait until midnight. April 2nd. Wait until midnight. It is now April 3rd. Alright. Should be ready to rock and roll here. It is April 3rd. Ready to go. We're leaving today. Yep. Good. Like I said before, we pay 600 scripts. Which route did you want to take? Junk Town, Acropolis. Let's go to the Brotherhood. Lock and load. We're out of this joint. All right. So we'll do this. Fresh meat. Is she coming right after me? Ninety-five percent. Where's my? Alright, well, fuck you then. Howie. Um, where is the my friends at? Okay, this was a bad idea. Well, it doesn't help me when my fucking own people are hitting me. I think the caravan guys are behind me, so... Can't hit her for some reason. What the fuck is going on? Um, this isn't going well. End my turn, I guess. I'm kind of not sure why they're focusing on me so much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to heal. I'm gonna die because they're only shooting at me. All right, go to inventory. Um, put my stem pack in here. Use on me. I help some. Why are they hitting me?
Alright. I need another stem. I don't particularly want to die here, but... How many action points do I have left? One, apparently. Dude, they just keep shooting me! Fucking hell. That will end the combat. So let's fucking loot these assholes. Got some caps. Take all that. Let's see here. Got some caps. And a knife. Take all that. She had decent armor back there. Ooh, nice. Take all those. Take that. And we'll take her caps as well. Did this bitch get on her? Nice. That's no, fine. I already got one of those anyways, so. Uh, pick up my inventory real quick. this weighs five pounds Let's see minimum strength of four I don't even know what my strength is my strength is four perfect alright I guess we're uh, just ready to go yeah I see a wagon are we ready to go? I guess we're ready to go. I don't know what the fuck's going on. All right, so we survived that. Well, here we are, your payment of 600 caps. He pulls out an old dog-eared money bag and gives you the money. You'll get another 600 caps to return with us to the hub. We'll rest here for a while, but don't go too far. We usually leave two hours after arrival. There's nothing here we haven't seen before, so if you want to leave earlier, we're ready whenever you are. Alright, yeah, we're gonna take a look around because I'm gonna fucking heal myself, first of all. You look healthy already. I know I have more hit points than fucking that, dude. What the fuck? The caravan has left. Well, that's a fucking bummer. We lost that on 1,200 fucking caps. Alright, let's go back to the hub. It's kind of bullshit, because... I didn't think it took more than 30 minutes, and they said two hours. Alright, we'll go back to the hub, and then we'll wrap this episode up. Oh, fuck. We get attacked by for one point. Get the fucking shotgun out. Oh, that's why I couldn't shoot. So you're not dead yet. Fall back a couple spaces here. Alright, he's dead. I'll take his tail. I can't take his tail. God damn it. Right, can we get to the fucking hub at some point? Dude. Alright. So, uh,. Not a whole lot today, but we did get some new gear. We did go on a trip with the Crimson Caravan, which uh, we've kind of run into in Fallout New Vegas, which it's always kind of cool to see how 
uh, much the newer fallouts have stuck to the older ones, especially New Vegas. It's because it's the same general vicinity and all that good stuff. Um, I do want to say, as always, I appreciate anybody who watches the series. It really means a lot. If you haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell icon as well. It really does help the channel. We always want to grow here. So, uh, as always, I will see you all next time.